Another carjacking suspect is in custody tonight after a police chase that crossed over parish and city lines. It's all started early this morning with a reported carjacking in the 12,000 block of the I-10 service road in New Orleans East. The NOPD says a man with a knife stole the victim's car, but when police spotted that vehicle, it didn't take long for the suspect to react. Tan Trung brings us that story. Kenner police this morning indicated there's more to this car crash near Williams Boulevard and 37th Street. I'm assuming this is something pretty much more serious that originated in New Orleans. What originated in New Orleans is part of a surge in carjackings, which are now up 115% compared to last year. One of the latest happened near this stretch of the I-10 service road in New Orleans East. It's not far from this Home Depot. It's a regular stop for Anthony Givens, but he only goes during certain hours of the day. Sometimes two, three times uh, out the week, but I never come late in the evening anymore. This carjacking actually started in the morning, which makes Gibbons even more uneasy. It happens any time out here now, before you didn't get there. Around 5.30 this morning, in the 7800 block of Chef Highway, New Orleans police spotted a car that matched the description in the carjacking. The driver took off, and a police chase was underway. Police say the driver headed west on the interstate and crossed over into Jefferson Parish, where deputies there joined the pursuit. Eventually, the suspect got off at the exit for Williams Boulevard in Kenner. The vehicle continued northbound on Williams until 37th and Williams. It struck another vehicle, and this is where the, the uh, pursuit ended at. Police chases have come under increasing scrutiny, but Kenner Police Lieutenant Michael Cunningham says the suspect in this case gave them little choice. I'm not going to comment on uh, what we know about it, but um, in this situation, I think the pursuit was... Uh, Validated. What else may be validated are the concerns Anthony Gibbons has about his safety while simply running errands. He says you don't have to look far to find others who feel the same. In New Orleans East, Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. The suspect in this carjacking is identified as 49-year-old Isidore Foreman. An NOPD superintendent Sean Ferguson said this afternoon the suspect and victim were acquaintances in this case.